You want to know how? Before you eat anything? Nothing. You understand that? Bring this dignity and honor. And then, we pray five times a salah. Did you make six? No. Five seconds plus. You will do that. Did six as well. I'm like somebody here again. But oh, let's go in the salah. Did you make uh, three rakat of fajr? No. Why? You're tired? No, because it's two. So you never increase anything. What? Two and a half? Or anything extra after two? No. Anything less? One and a half? One? No, still two. So did you increase? So where did you increase? Asha. Number three. He said that uh, uh, fast in Ramazan. In Ramazan. Have you ever fast 31? 32? Why? You got tired? No. Why? Because the prescription is 29 or 30. Have you ever made 28? Or less? Unless you're sick or tablet. Yes? You only do 29 or 30. Did we increase or decrease anything? No. So, number four is God. If you can afford to pay. Yes, we can afford to pay. If you didn't pay, you're a sinner. But did we say to anybody that there's no God? No, still we say God. What is God? All the rules are set up already prescribed. Hajj, if you can perform to, if you can afford to perform. So if anybody can perform, they go and perform the Hajj. Alhamdulillah, will do that as well. And did we, in the Hajj, instead of going to Arafat, do we go to uh, Jabal al Do you go to another mountain? Also the mountain of Nursi, which is the Rari Hirashi. It's also a blasphemy mountain, where the first day of Elisham. Do we go in the, uh, for the uh, 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 fact of Hajj? We go there? No, we go to Arafat. We go to Jabal al not to this land. And also Jabal al-Sawr. It's also a blasphemy mountain as well. And Jabal al-Ohud. In Medina, she. As a blasphemy mountain. So do we go with the Hajj? In the big uh, ground there as well. Do we go there? No. Where do we go? In Arafat? Where do we come back and stay at night? In Muzdalifah. Where we stay? In Mina. Where we go to perform the, the, the Tawaf? In Kaaba. What did we increase? So what the Sahabi was saying, the fire, he never increased and decreased. He didn't mean by them, they then fire. So we didn't increase anything, you decrease anything. He said, he said, oh, you didn't mean Lachi. Well, that's another topic, we're going to talk about it. That's not part of these five things. That's apart from that. That's something else. And that's not only the five things that are only in Islam. That's a five major thing in Islam. Must remember that. Five pillars of Islam are major. You have five pillars of a building. Is that as a building? No, that's a part of a building. Otherwise, it can be many more things to apply on the building and then the building can be building. Then the student home. So these jinns, they were created before they devoted for Allah SWT, like angel us. So although they have more power than us, but still they are under control of human. And sometimes human are control of, they get possess, possessed by the jinns as well. You understand that? So they can do that as well. So they are possessed by the jinn. Now if you believe according to their uh, uh, faith that the jinn has the power to possess somebody, they say mushrik. And these same, these the wabi, the bandi, when they have this power, they go to Sunni peace. Then why was he out there? I'm the I'm a money carrier. So, in Jinn and human. Is the Quran of Surah Tazim? Talaq is the 29th chapter. So, the Nia Taki, Ya Yuladin Amunuku, and Fuzuku, Ahliku, and Arava Kudu, and Nasu, and Hijara. Only the human and the jinn are the only going to be a question on that day. Human and jinn. So everybody will face their accountability. Everything will face accountability. But only these two creation will be suffer forever or they will enjoy forever in paradise. Jinn and the human. Bhagi Sari Mukhlubi Yaw Saab, Aadhi Aadhi Kaho. Even the animals, buffaloes, cows, horses, or the uh, uh, camels, everything will be facing their accountability in that day. But there will be, there's a, at least some, they said they will turn into uh, ashes after that. Some of these they're saying as well, some of the, uh, those animals they use for the religious purpose, and they can be taken into paradise as well, but they will enjoy in paradise too, and the people will use them just for the joy, joy ride. Yes? Oh yes, the beauty. Everything has to face. You understand? So the jinns, in jinn is like we are humans. We have a, a quality of religion, quality of spirituality, and quality of our life. They have the similar. You understand? They live with us, among us. They're very powerful. They can, just like we already said, they possess us as well. But believe me or not, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us the, that we are the higher than them, that's why they live among us, but they can't harm us. 
even the kafir is one. But there's a big discussion on that, that is every human is better than the every jinn or every angel? We have better than angel. But there's a long decision, not every, then depend on the status. I'm not going to go into that, maybe some other day, we'll discuss that point and I'll go deep into that. So these jinns, they are, they are, Allah SWT make, make us better than them, that's why they are among us, but they don't harm us. Only some people get harmed, so that shows that, oh, they are there. Otherwise, you know, I, usually, I, I usually said that if Allah SWT take that protection uh, away from us, which has protected us already, these jinns will use us like a toothbrush. You know, a, a man will be in the hand of the jinn, and the big hair there will be toothbrush. That's how they use it. They just not just eat our bone, they just enjoy and lick the bone like, like a, a child licks the lollipop. That's what they do to us. But because Allah SWT has given us a dignity with the humans, everything is fear of you. You can see the very powerful uh, buffaloes, cows, uh, even elephants, lions, they are in control of man and human. And Allah SWT says again and again, many of you are things. Uh, fear these things, some of you eat them, some of you use them as carriage. And they are in your control, in your possession. And you mean you are not thankful to me? That's what you could think. So lots lot of more new things are coming up as well. So these jinns, they are Muslims, they are Kafir, they are Sikhs, they are Hindus, they are Jewish, they are Christian, they are Wahhabi, they are Sunni. Yeah, they are all sort of, uh, they are like, they're like human we are having the faith. That's how they are as well. They have their own groups as well, in jinns. You understand that? One of my uncle uh, back home, he used to, name is Ali Mir, he passed away quite a long time ago. And I think I said before as well that I said to his own son that he has bloody fool stupids. Well, they're older than me, but because they're cats, that's why I have sometimes have to use that kind of bit of language for them. That he never learned anything from him. And there's a number of miracle people know in, in his uh, 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 lifetime. And this is one of them as well. One day his, uh, his totally chapai bed was lost. They couldn't find any way. They tried from every way they could. Yes, whole night along. And crying and grieving for what happened is maybe the uh, honorable Dakur or something has taken him away. He's not that. But in the morning, he was there where he was at night with his bed. He said that he was free from, uh, from the Kadiyas staff uh, uh, in Jalam, Samoishli. He was free from there. But he has devoted himself in early days, early age. Uh, I think from uh, 8 to 25 in Bangladesh, and he dedicated himself very highly in spirituality. He had the great reward uh, uh, that, that way. And he was taken by the jinns at night. That event was because of this. And then when he was there in the morning, they asked him, well, where was you? And he said, I was taken by the jinns. There's a huge big dip, yes, uh, maybe half a mile from the village. No, the village is quite grown close to it. And no, no his name as Jinnala Nala. It's like you know, uh, a quite deep, very deep place, and known as a jinn lives there. So it's belong to jinns. And he was taken up there. His bed was put on the mount, and the, then he woken up, and he said, "I saw the jinns was singing and dancing there. There's fire uh, lighted, and they're singing and dancing there as well. All day when there was no electricity. I'm talking about uh, over approximately uh, nearly 45, 50 years ago. And uh, he said that they, uh, when I just got uh, woken up, I was scared." That when they brought me in this darkness, uh, uh, in this place, and place is familiar. And they said that their head has come to me, and they, they uh, saluted me with the salam dua and uh, <coughs> respected me. Some only some uh, we respect you uh, because you are a vice person of this area, and uh, one of our family members getting married. And we want you to do his nikah. So this is why we called you. We brought you here so that uh, we didn't uh, uh, make appointment with you because they don't need appointment. They brought him at night. <laughs> <laughs> you understand that? And said, oh, nothing to worry about. We respect you, and because you are the al medin of this area. And uh, he was a proper al medin and a vice person. So he had also a as well. So then he said, I did the nikah. He said, you go back to your bed now, sleep, and we'll take you home. So he went back to and the comfortable sleep on his bed, and they just uh, made this bed fly back home. Nobody even see that stone back home in our Sindhi. And that's this said, how can you prove that? So in the Quran, we mentioned last week, didn't we, of the Sulman al Hassan Arab bin Barkhia, that within no time he just, even the jinn was there as well. Jinn said that we we'll, we'll bring that uh, uh, throne for you even before your gathering ends. But the man of the book, or Wali Allah, he said that with the, even just with the blink of your eye, I'll bring it down here. And he was there. 